wondered if flirting truly works? The answer is a resounding yes. Welcome to the intriguing world of subtle flirting. Today, we're going to explore seven carefully researched tips that can help you express your interest without the fear of rejection. We'll discuss everything from flirtatious facial expressions and slow smiles to brief glances and featherlight touches, even down to your appearance and sense of humor. So without further ado, let's get started. Stay tuned as we delve into these seven meticulously researched tips designed to help you express interest without the looming fear of rejection. First up on our list is the power of flirtatious facial expressions and slow smiles. Now, when it comes to the ladies, making use of facial expressions is a common and effective method of flirting. Think about it, turning your head to one side, tilting your chin down a tad, tossing your hair over your shoulder, and a playful bite on your lip while you smile. These are all subtle movements, but they pack a punch. They send out signals of interest and set up a playful atmosphere. But what about the gentlemen? Well, that's where the slow smile comes into play. As emphasized by Dr. Pamela Reagan, a psychology professor, a slow smile from a man can be a game changer. It's less likely to be mistaken for casual friendliness. It's more than just a simple grin. It's a smile that carries depth, intention, and yes, a hint of romantic interest. Both of these techniques, the flirtatious facial expressions and the slow smile, have one thing in common, subtlety. They're not over the top or in your face. They're nuanced, they're understated, and they're designed to convey interest without the fear of outright rejection. Remember, the key to these techniques is subtlety and intention. They're the silent language of attraction, speaking volumes without uttering a single word. Next, we have the art of brief glances and feather light touch. Ever been caught stealing a quick glance at someone you're interested in? This is a subtle flirting technique that speaks volumes. According to Dr. Pamela Regan, these fleeting glances indicate preferential attention, a clear sign of positive romantic intentions. It's a simple, non-verbal way to establish a connection without having to utter a single word. Now, let's delve into the world of touch. Subtle touches can sometimes communicate more effectively than words. Self-help expert Eric Barker suggests a light brush against the shoulder or forearm, a lingering hand on the waist, or a casual touch on their hair. These feather-light touches create a sense of intimacy and can convey your feelings without crossing into personal space. Remember, the key lies in subtlety. These non-verbal cues can communicate your feelings without the need for words. So, keep your eyes and hands ready for the next time you want to express interest subtly. Our next tips are about being mindful of your appearance and showcasing your sense of humor. Let's start with appearances. Psychologist Jeremy Nicholson suggests that a little extra effort goes a long way. Styling your hair a bit differently, choosing an attractive outfit, or even just standing with confidence can do wonders. These subtle changes signal that you care about how you present yourself, which can leave a positive impression. Now, for the fun part, tickling their funny bone. Flirting isn't all about serious romantic intentions, it's also about having fun. Dr. Nicholson suggests using a playful flirting style to keep the other person engaged. This could be through witty remarks, clever jokes, or even just a funny story. It's all about letting your personality shine through and keeping the atmosphere light and enjoyable. These techniques are not just about attracting attention, but also about creating a positive, fun-filled atmosphere. Our final tip is perhaps the most important one. Be more yourself. Authenticity is a cornerstone of successful flirting. Dating coach Clara Arts Walker emphasizes that being your authentic self and feeling at ease around the person you like is a great way to flirt. It's not about pretending to be someone else or trying to impress, it's about showing who you truly are with confidence. Being your authentic self not only exudes confidence, but it also makes you more attractive to others. Now that you're equipped with these seven subtle flirting tips, it's time to put them into action. Imagine the thrill of expressing interest without the fear of rejection. So why not give these tips a try in your next interaction? And if you're feeling generous, drop a comment sharing your experience. Remember, subscribing to our channel and hitting that like button helps us create more content. And don't keep these secrets to yourself, share this video with friends. So, ready to master the art of subtle flirting? We can't wait to hear about your unique flirting styles. See you all in the next video!